simply see in this text that we're all here somewhere. We're all in Titus 2, 2 through 6. And unless we're at one of the extremes, we're all in there twice. There's always someone older than us from whom we can learn and learn much. There's always someone younger than us who needs to learn from us. And truth be told, we can learn a little from as well. So I hope we understand that we all have a role in helping each other and teaching each other and growing together because we all must keep learning and keep learning together. The relationships that we share, they are just as vital to our faithfulness as the instruction that comes from our time together too. We need the relationships that bond us in Christ to accompany the teaching that we hear and receive in Christ. SEC Commissioner, Athletic Conference Commissioner Greg Sankey was the backup catcher when he was in college. Backup catcher. Freshman year, he was convinced he's going to get to start a game. He didn't start. He didn't get to play. He didn't get to pinch hit. Nothing happened. And he sat on the bench on the edge, away from the team, and he sulked the whole time. The team barely won the game, and the following Sunday night, I don't know what day the game happened, but the Sunday night afterward, he got a knock on his door, dorm room door, and it was his coach, and his coach was mad. And the coach told him, if we would have lost that game, I probably would have blamed it on you because of your attitude. And then he told him words that Sankey says literally changed his career. He told him, you don't know how much you mean to this team. Your demeanor, your attitude, your leadership were already making a difference. Think about that contrast. Sankey was saying, I need to start, I need to bat, I need to get a couple of hits, a couple of RBIs, so that I can mean something to this team. Coach said, when you're sitting on the bench as a backup catcher, you mean something to this team. You mean something to this church. That doesn't just come from me or from the elders. That comes from God. You mean something to this church. And there are people here who are younger than you. And they need to hear you telling them somehow that they don't know how much they mean to this church. And there are people here who are older than you. And they need to hear from you, however you find a way to communicate it, that they don't know how much they mean to this church. Paul would say, for the body does not consist of one member but of many. As it is, there are many parts, yet one body. But God has so composed the body in such a way that the members may have the same care for one another.